हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल क्लासेस फॉर विद्या भवन हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास सिक्स फिजिकल साइंस एंड द चैप्टर दैट आई विल कंटिन्यू टुडे इज द एलिमेंट कंपाउंड एंड मिक्सचर दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट सेवन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंसेस ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड सॉरी मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स बाय द एक्टिविटीज so now we will discuss about compounds so it's compounds is the thing where the elements are uh, jot down ratiocally and make something new okay so uh, by one activity we will discuss about that so let's check now we are going to learn about compounds so a compound is a pure substance consisting of two or more elements which are combined chemically in a different uh, different proportion that means uh, a compound is something where the two or more elements are obviously will be in a correct proportion not like like in a any proportion they can mix they will form any compound they must be in the fixed proportion to make any proper compound so uh, there is uh, something by which we can elaborate the experiment like it is one activity where you have to take a small rubber cork and fix two iron nails on it so now place it inside a glass beaker you have to pour some water on it and add one teaspoon of lime juice in the water you have to stir it thoroughly and with the help of piece of copper wire you have to connect two iron nails with the two opposite ends of the 9 volt battery so in the picture you also can see the arrangement by this you have to follow so as soon as the iron nails are connected with the two opposite ends of the battery the gas bubble start evolve so gas bubble will start evolving from each of the iron nails the gas coming out from each of the iron nails can be separately collected and analyzed it will be found that the hydrogen gas evolved from the iron nail connected with the negative end and the battery a negative end of the battery and the oxygen gas evolved from the iron nail connected with the positive end of the battery it is a very interesting experiment so now you have to uh, keep in mind because there is some cautions like never perform this in uh, experiment using connection of the electrical mains of your house or or the inverter then the massacre can form and you must use a 9 volt battery or 1.5 volt torch light battery for this purpose do not use any high voltage battery because then accident can be happen okay take care of yourself and you can do this experiment in your house but yes uh, you cannot understand that the hydrogen which one is hydrogen which one is oxygen uh, till when you are not tested them properly there is also some test by which you can understand that it is ox oxygen and it is hydrogen you will learn it in your higher classes so you find that when electricity is passed through the acidulated water it breaks up or dissolve uh, that means the dissociates the form hydrogen and oxygen the water is made up of h2o that means two hydrogen and one oxygen they will split up the phenomena of dissociation of water into hydrogen and oxygen due to the pass, uh, passage of electricity through it is known as electrolysis of water broke down of the water is called electrolysis as we are using the electric current to split the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen 
is a very interesting experiment to find out that the compounds are made up of elements like the water is made up of two elements that is hydrogen and oxygen they are jot down and produce that compound water and by the electrolysis we can split them and we can uh, find out the hydrogen and oxygen differently the oxygen and hydrogen are elements and they are gaseous at normal ordinary temperature and pressure but when they chemically combine the water is formed in liquid state so the hydrogen and oxygen are two gases but when they are chemically combined they can form one liquid so the properties of water is also different from the properties of oxygen and hydrogen that i told you that the gaseous properties are different the liquids properties are different but thing the when the two gases are attached together they can form one liquid and the liquid water properties are fully different from the two different kind of gases that are oxygen and hydrogen so some of the properties of the hydrogen and oxygen and water have been summarized okay so usually the properties of hydrogen is it is colorless odorless and tasteless properties of oxygen is it's colorless odorless and tasteless but the water is also colorless but the pure water is also odorless and tasteless the hydrogen property is lighter than air in fact it is the lightest element in the universe the air is approximately 14.4 times heavier than hydrogen the oxygen is slightly heavier than air but water it neither burns or not supports any combustion and it is obviously heavier than two of those the hydrogen is almost soluble in water the oxygen is uh, appreciably soluble in water fishes and aquatic plants can only survive due to the oxygen dissolved in the water right otherwise they cannot next the hydrogen is not a supporter of combustion it is itself born with a pale blue film uh, flame but the oxygen is supports combustion it can itself uh, but it can itself a non combustible it helps us in respirate but the water is neither burns and not supports the combustion it usually when somewhere the flame comes we usually give water to stop it right so it is the differences by this you can understand that some of the properties of hydrogen and oxygen and water can be summarized students i'm completing this video with the idea of the compound the basic idea of the compound and electrolysis uh, we will discuss something new in the next video till then thank you